Since the dawn of time, she's been fighting to survive. We have scoured the four corners of the globe in search of her. Every time we think we've found one, the claims have proven to be false. It's that most elusive of creatures. The self-sufficient, middle-aged, working actress. Where does she reside? Our travels have taken us to the African continent. South Africa, to be more specific. A peaceful nation. We travel to Johannesburg, Egoli, the place of gold where, quite frankly, very little glitters and there's bugger all gold left. Known as a world-class African city, we leave the bustling streets of Johannesburg and travel north to the quiet, well, that's if you exclude the old police helicopter, suburb of four ways. It was here that we made our first sighting. Hi, my name is Anne Power. You might remember me from the 80s, I used to present a show called Take a Break on a Friday afternoon, and I used to sing for TV4, remember TV4? All those great concerts on the beach in Durban, Margate, it was great fun. 1994, I then presented a show called At Caesars, and in fact it was cancelled by the change of the new government because I was considered to be too white. <laughs> I also used to sing for a lot of charities over the years. Um, Cut that charity. Um, um, oh, cut, 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 cut. Robert, uh, cut that, please. What, what was and, it? And, and, and this is reality. We don't cut. I know, no, but you, I don't, I don't really want to fluff that line. I just want to do it again, if you don't mind. Just once more. When are we rolling? When are we rolling? Uh, we never stop rolling. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, I've been singing for many charities over the years. South Africa is a tough place for singers, artists of any kind, really, in the entertainment industry, especially for women of a certain age, you know, over 40. So when the networks approached me to do my own show, I thought, sorry Rose, we're shooting. So when the network approached me to do my own TV reality show, I jumped in with both feet and power back in the saddle again. Isn't it fabulous, my darlings? So for the next 10 weeks, I'm going to have this lovely, huge crew following me around on my day-to-day -day business and as I rehearse my new one-woman show, Woman of a Certain Age, stage show, live. I'm Anne Power, and welcome to the power of Anne. Nothing broken. Can we take that again? The middle-aged working actress-singer wasn't always middle-aged. She was young once, in a time of big hair, big shoulder pads, big colours and big... well, actually, quite little taste. The 80s. She was at the top of the charts, in feature films, and at the top of her game. 
I've certainly had a very long life in this industry, 32 years to be exact, and I remember quite clearly when it all started, I was born in Zimbabwe, then known as Rhodesia, born in a little tiny town called Guelo. I spent a couple of years, I don't really remember much about Guelo, but then moved to Harare, and right from the start, first day of school, I was grabbed hold of by one of the teachers and said, right, we're going to do a little thing and you've got to do this and you've got to model. And the next thing I was modeling at the Meikles Hotel in, in, in Harare. And I just enjoyed that limelight, I suppose, you know. I just enjoyed being out there, having fun and having everyone look at me. I think I've always wanted to be an actress. And um, right from the days at school, I was first out there getting, when there were plays, I went to a convent. So we had to play boys and girls and um, being a girls only school. Hi, and welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> Do come through, it's so nice to have you here. This house, I'm actually walking backwards because it makes a lot of sense. You don't want to see what I've got behind my dress. Oh, here's Rosie. She's here. So hi, Rose. Hi, Mitty. No, you must say hello to all the people watching you. Oh, hello, everybody. Yes. So right. That's perfect, yes. And now we're going to take you through into the rest of the house. I actually lived in Melville West End with my first husband. And we used to have the most crazy parties. That's Bill Flynn. Then I moved here in 1999. And this is my lounge and little relaxing area in the corner. And I must say, you know, the parties here are pretty wild too. I met a man called Tully McCulley, who had a, a group called McCulley's Workshop. And we, he met me, I was then doing voiceovers and jingles in Cape Town. And we met and he wanted to produce a record. I auditioned for a show called The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. I, of course, needed to say with the part I played. You can imagine. I was a young girl, so I had to play one of the girls. I always laugh when I later married Bill, and at my reception, my poor old grandfather nearly had a heart attack. When Paul Slavilevs, he said, Well, Bill, to think that you met Anne in a whorehouse. So, her career was on the upswing. Theatre, movies, music, a veritable showbiz jackpot. But there was a little visitor on the way. His name, Oliver. Or Ryan Power, whichever she remembers to use for continuity purposes. It was the most wonderful day of my life, giving birth to this gorgeous child. Everyone wanted to see the Bill Flynn and Power child. And um, we had a good time. We were married for eight years. Um, things didn't work out. Bill fell in love with Yana Sali and uh, she was married, he was married, so it was a little bit of an upset for both families. Hindsight is an exact science. We can all improve, we can all say if only. I don't say if only. I married a man called Bill Flynn. I loved him with all my heart. We had a beautiful child. And after we got divorced, once the dust had settled, then we became very good friends. I've also got some photographs I must show you of when I was going to play Norma Desmond in Sunset Boulevard for Peter Turin. Would you like to audition for it? And I said, oh, I would love to. Three months later, I get the call from Peter. Are you standing near a chair? Do you have a drink in your hand? I said, no, why? Well, you got the part. That was going to be the most wonderful experience of my life. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. As luck would have it, Sunset Boulevard was cancelled due to an outbreak of SARS in Hong Kong and the Iraqi war. The investors pulled out and Anne was left high and dry. The proverbial role of a lifetime within her grasp, but just, just unattainable. However, I'm not too old to play it yet. She has to be 65. I've got a long way to go till then. <laughs>
When I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, what will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? Here's what she said to me. Que sera, sera. Whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Que sera, sera. When I was just a child in school, I asked my teacher, what should I try? Should I paint pictures? Should I sing songs? This was a wise reply. Que sera, sera. Whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Que sera, sera. In the new South Africa, much has changed for the once oppressed. They've now moved into all facets of business, including the much sought after housekeeper position. Let's see how she responds to our crew. Why are you shooting me? Oh no. Remember I told you that we're going to be doing this special uh, show for me, about me, you know, the mm. reality show. Oh. So you're going to be on TV so you can tell all your friends that, you know, Rosie Bordeaux is on TV. Oh no, please, miss, I can't do that. Oh, oh sugar. Oh, are, you, are, are you too shy? Hi. You mustn't be shy, Rose. It's, all, it's going to be good. He's going to be very no, nice, Rose. No, I can't do that. Do you think so? I think it'll be fun, Rose. Oh, okay then. Okay. All right, I'll do that. All right, okay. okay. 
Thanks. Oliver has decided to arrive with all his friends to play Xbox. What is this Xbox? Well, we're filming, boys, so you're going to have to be very quiet when you play your Xbox. Nice, hey? This is what I've got to put up with, my 27-year-old and his boys. <laughs> Back in the day, my parents were definitely were considered one of the A-list power couples. Uh, my first magazine cover was when I was born. Oh, it, it was great, you know. I mean, it, it's always been it's always been very original and very very different. My dad, especially, he was in fact a very very quiet and relaxed man. Um, my mother, on the other hand, was completely polar opposite. I mean, she was loud from the day she was born. I think. I think her first words were "Top C." And here he is, right on cue, my gorgeous son Oliver, the apple of my eye. Hi, darling. <laughs> So, Mom, what time's your big audition today? Oh, it's not an audition, darling. It's our first day of rehearsals. Oh, um, I decided to audition for the new Phantom. Oh, fantastic. What part? The Phantom. Oh. Uh, darling, don't you think that's a little ambitious? I mean, you know... What do you mean? Robert, I mean, look, you're good. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, uh, it's quite hectic vocals. <laughs> Jeez, some support would be great. Thanks, Mom. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't give me that, darling. When we could barely pay our bills, I made sure that you always had vocal coaching. So come on, let's be fair now. I'm looking for moral support, Mom, not fucking financial. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that was Oliver. Where were we? And there it is. The great, powerful sage Anne Power speaks again, sharing her amazing wisdom with us. <laughs> Don't you hate it when someone just takes a big, fat dump on your dreams? You know, she thinks she knows everything, but she doesn't really. It's actually, it's exactly one of the reasons why I'm moving out at the end of this month. Usually theatre moms are supposed to be up behind you, pushing you all the way. Go, son, I want you to be the best. No, I want you to be the best behind me. Well, look, God help me when she finds out, but she doesn't know that I'm moving in with my girlfriend. But hey, at least my girlfriend doesn't give me crap. Competition is something the middle-aged working actress doesn't respond to well. It's been known to bring out their claws and cause much gnashing of teeth, especially when the competition is for the attention of their offspring. They pounce on their prey like a lioness, protecting her cubs. clean some of his old stuff from the closet. <laughs> uh, is Rose around? Uh, no, she, she heard you arrive and she ran to her room, I think, to speak to her people. <laughs> what are they for? Well, probably to get some help if you ask me, but anyway. Excuse me? Oh, no, no, look, it's nothing, for goodness sake. She's just a little wary of you. Nothing for you to be concerned about. It's not like she's sticking needles into a voodoo doll or anything like that. <laughs> anyway, quite frankly, darling, it's none of your business. Rose has never liked me much. To be honest, they're both a little too possessive of their little boy, Oliver. Well, he's all mine now. Deal with it, bitches. My mother's been a nightmare at times with, with, with Haley, and so is the maid, the maid especially. Sure, I'll tell you, Rose. She may say she likes Haley, but I can tell you now, she fucking hates Haley. Like, hates Haley. With regards to that whole thing, Ryan's not really into reality TV. So, you know, is it possible that we could maybe, you know, edit that part out? I mean, who's really interested in hearing about us? Rose! Rose! Rose, darling, 
Chris, um, you know, I told you we're shooting reality. So I need us to, to blend in naturally. You know, blend in gently. That's the best. Look, Rose, listen, why don't you rather go and do some ironing or something? You know, something that's a bit quieter. So, so drop it and go and do some ironing. That went well. Oh, oh, Brando, stop it! I'm so sorry, Robert. I mean, these dogs of mine, they are so highly strung. Leave his leg alone, Brando. That's enough now. I mean, they, they only love women and gay men. No, I'm sorry. No, I know, but it really is terribly unprofessional. Oliver, won't you come and help me get the dogs outside, please? Well, why didn't you put them outside earlier, Mom? Oh. Listen, Mom, this is probably not the best time to tell you, but um, I'm moving out at the end of the month. Oh, darling, if it's about this afternoon, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean anything by that, really. I mean... <laughs> Tip of the iceberg, okay? Look, I just need to get out of my own, okay, and start living my own life. Right. But I love you, and I'll chat to you about it later, okay? All right. She's never raised, she's never had a girl, a young girl, in her environment, ever. Only except for dinner parties or the occasional friend bringing a kid around. But, you know, she's never had a woman on a permanent basis around. So it's been a hell of an, in, of an adjustment for her. I mean, God. But can hold it. You work all your life for that moment in time. It could come or pass you by. It's the push of the world, but there's always a chance if the hunger stays the night. beautiful clothes. Well, I must tell you, I'm no exception. I have various different dresses. I buy some of my dresses I do get overseas. As you can see, I haven't even worn this one yet. A few years ago, <laughs> a few years ago, I used to love the sort of razzle-dazzle, jupy-jupy, and they're great fun. 
<laughs> Joan Collins, eat your heart out. <laughs> right, where's the party? I like being a woman. When I was younger, I said I liked being a girl. JJ Schoolman once again. His dresses are timeless, which is great. If you are a very big socialite, you can afford all these lovely dresses. But for me, alas, I can't necessarily always buy them. And JJ, very kindly, has made these dresses for me. And all I have to do in return is be the MC at the Matric Farewell Expo. There are no free lunches, but this one is worth it. The working actress thrives best when in a crowd and is the center of everybody's attention. Anne comes into her own when she interacts with those that admire her natural social ability and outgoing nature. This style, it's called Anne, the Anne Powers style. We specially uh, invented a look, which is the Anne Power look. It's form-fitting. This is the kind of style that suits Anne's body best. It shows everything and hides things as well, which is what I need, you know, for mature girls like us. Well said. <laughs> look at that, Anne, redefining the push-up bra. Anyone ready to look at some beautiful clothes? I don't think want to look at a drink. No, 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 Anne. Just make sure everything is in. That's enough, Anne. I'm just going to lift it up a little bit. I'm going to speak to JJ. My top, because it's dropping a little bit, and I don't want to expose myself in front of all these young girls. You just need to tie it a bit tighter around the back. Just like you did in the shop. Just don't... All right, Anne. Pull yourself together. No, he's just... I've just twisted my top, so it fits better. Huh. We girls, we just get better with age, like wine. Surrounded by all this youthful beauty, Anne seems to be confronted once again by her own mortality. OK, let's cut to the chase here. Yes, we're all blessed, we're all happy, we're healthy, that's fantastic. But I'm actually quite pissed off that at the age of 50 plus, I've got to actually cuck off every now and again to see how I can earn money. What can I do to appeal to the South African public? How can I interest them? How can I apologize more for the fact that I'm older? We should be rejoicing in our age. We should be happy. We have experience. We've done it all. And we will continue to do it. Let's do series about people of our age group. The only time a performer is officially retired is when, they, when they're pushing up roses underneath their tombstone. I refuse to sit back and wait for the phone to ring. I will do it any way I can. But it would have been nice if the phone had rang. Goldie Horn put it so succinctly. She said there are three ages of women. The first age is when you're babe. You're just called babe. The second stage is when you're the district attorney. And the third stage is when you're driving Miss Daisy. Well, honey, I ain't driving Miss Daisy that I can tell you right now. So put that one straight out of your head. In fact, I'm gonna just have a glass of wine now, because I can. Society's obsession with youth drives these creatures to all manner of youth rejuvenation ceremonies, the kind that involve toxins and needles and a trip to Melrose Arch. Ah, well, here we are at the Melrose Aesthetic Center. I'm coming to see my very good friend, Dr. Mark Opperman. He's fantastic. He specializes in non-invasive plastic surgery. I think that's invasive. Hi. Mwah. Oh, it's so good nice to see you, too. Sorry, Annie. No problem. Thank you. Can you please ask those people to stop this insistent banging? Right, well now I'm having a private consultation with Mark. So Robert, you can go and wait outside now. Thank you, bye. Hey Robert, come, come inside. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. 
I have decided that I'm going to try this. I've heard so much about it, and I think that as women, we all need a little help. My dancer girlfriends used to, they all go and have a little Botox party, and then they all get shot, all they, they, the doctor comes along and he does a whole group of them. You know, for me, it's all about looking natural. So what I want to do is I just want to soften these lines, still leaving the movement in the upper face, but just relax those lines. Obviously, the crow's feet around the eye area. Thank heavens for Botox. <laughs> so all those horror stories you've heard, just relax and enjoy, because this is the real story. This one stings a little bit more. But I'm still smiling. And then it lasts for how long, Mark? Yeah, depending from patient to patient, and you know what, it, it's dependent on that regeneration process mm. of the nerves. Most people get about three to four months out of a, a treatment. And that's it done. As a woman, we need expression, but we don't need all those extra lines. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh, this place is beautiful. It's looking so nice, Mark. It really is. Well, thank you very much, sir. Robert's insisting on me sitting in this terrible, wicked sunlight, which will shock every floor that you have. So, can you see that I can't smile at all? No, I'm joking. No, everything is fine, and this is what happens after 10 days of having a few ch 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 Thanks, Mark. What are you doing here today, Oliver? Uh, going for a big audition. A uh, big part? Well, if I get it, I'll be going overseas for the next year, so I'd like to think so. How's it, guys? The offspring of the middle-aged working actress often finds itself with the short end of the stick in terms of good fortune. Oliver, with such famous parents, often has to work twice as hard for half as much, a burden he wears like a label at every turn. Look, guys, I... <laughs> Can't you go and follow my mother or something? I mean, uh, I'm trying to focus here. Look, to be honest, you know, I've never really been into the whole reality thing anyway, so... Give me a science fiction and I'm happy. But seriously, guys, just, just give me a bit of time, please. Oliver Power to the stage, please. Oliver Power to the stage, please. Put your loving hand out, baby. I'm begging. Begging, begging you. Put your love. Thank you. We let you know. Is that all you guys need? God, I need a drink. Thanks, thanks a lot, guys. Next. 
Fuck off, guys. Seriously, I'm not in the mood. Hey, sweetheart. Yeah, uh, no, no, it didn't go well. Yeah, yeah, I know, I've done it a thousand times. I just, just, I fucked up the lines. I... Anyway, look, I'm, I'm gonna be on my way home in a few minutes, okay? It just, it just got to me. Uh... Yeah. Okay, love you too. Seriously, guys, don't you have a fucking home to go to? I just think, you know, whatever happens or doesn't happen, the best part is that he got to sing for you after the way you trained him. Because he said he was ridiculously nervous. <laughs> what happens is in the hands of the gods, but the fact that this even came up is quite remarkable. If he does get in, oh my God, can you imagine? He'll be able to do an international show, which will be so fantastic. So we'll wait to hear. I'd rather go on Saturday or, or tomorrow because the last thing you want is to be driving to Sun City and then they go, oh, run, it's between you and Pete Pompey, so now it's going to be him. I've got to take Brando to the vet. His whole body has come out in bumps. So I think, yeah, I think it was after the walk. I think he ran into the bushes and something might have nipped him. He's got big wheels, so we've got to take him Shame to the doctor. As long as Mommy's got her credit card. Pussy face, you can't sit there. This is very illegal. <laughs> So illegal, eh? Hello. Hello. Okay, you. What's your name, dude? And he's been scratching, and then I thought, God, he hasn't had his injection. Maybe it's because he hasn't had his injection yeah. now, and I'm a terrible he's, mother. He's, he's found something in the environment that's. Uh... Well, we took him for a walk to the field, and I noticed it when we came back from the walk, and I thought something had bitten him. Hmm. Because he's allergic to bees. Oh, okay. Probably he's got a thermometer in his backside, Robert. You can't shoot that. That's embarrassing. Injection. Allergy. Antibiotics. It's more expensive than the gynecologist. Yes, so the drama with Brando averted, and albeit with a slightly lighter purse, Anne heads off to her regular scheduled gymming session with her personal trainer. Now, a personal trainer is practically obligatory for every middle-aged working actress. And gym is an important ritual amongst these appearance-obsessed creatures. So here I am arriving at my personal trainer, Adrian Galliard of Galliard's Gym. So, let's go and hit that gym. Hey, Adrian, I'm ready to be tortured. Oh, it's been a while. <laughs> no, nonsense. I came just last week, remember? Remember, I was here last week. Oh, yes, that's right. Yes, yes, yes of course. Yes. And I'm still quite stiff from that workout you gave me. Wow. Gosh, I'll tell you something. Uh, Robert, just, mm. just cut for a bit. Mm. Adrian, yes, I'm yes. doing this show, this okay. reality show. And so I, don't, I, I need them, you know, you must just yeah. act as if I've been coming every single day. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, no. Carry oh, on, carry let's, on. Let's, let's work it up. Let's make it changed and then we can hit the treble. No, but um, Adrian, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm changed already. I mean, this is what I'm working out in. And okay. these are my leg warmers that Robert knitted me himself, so they look that cool. So I'm ready for action. Well, Fabulous, you're looking um, great. Um, yeah, um, let's, let's hit the treadmill. Okay, we'll okay. warm up and uh, let's do it. I just, I, I just say, let's get physical, baby. Let's go and work. Very
I'm shuffling. Take it above the walking speed if you like, Anne. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Very nice. So we're going to do this for another 10 minutes. Oh. Very good. Okay. Many times yes, before. I have. Now this is actually this is very good for you, but really, Aiden, this is quite easy for this me. Is, is there any way I could just do a little bit more? Sure, but can I just quickly show you the technique? Okay. I just want to quickly. Right. There's just one or two things. Okay. Um, Aiden is going to show me how to do it properly. Right. He's excellent. So right. you want to take it nice and wide, <laughs> and you want to try and get it down. Oh yes. There, nice and strong. Put your chest out. What I want you to do now is give it a really good okay. pull. Yes. Okay. Uh, let me just try and see. If I could, let me try on my own. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, let's concentrate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Why is so cruel? Come on, Anne. Pumping it. Jeez. Come on, I want a thousand meters. Oh, she <laughs> nearly took my neck out. Thanks, eh? So, that. Is how you work out, my lovelies. And you're fabulous doing it. Right, are you ready, Anne? Yes, sir. Okay, let's do this. Now we're going to be working the pecs. Okay, so we lift the bar. Mm -hmm. We're taking it down to the chest. Work those pecs. Jersey. Awesome. You want to get that chest nice and firm. Do I breathe out? Which yes, breathe out. Beautiful. Look how easily you're oh, doing it. Yes. I mean, it's poetry in motion. Yes. Poetry in motion. It's fantastic. Yes. Good. Good. Hi, sweetie. Uh, How are you doing? Uh, yeah, no, I'm busy. I'm busy at the moment, but... Uh, hey! Oh, hey, do oh, you now. Just a I'm second. Car. Oh, oh. And, and, yes, that's it. Easy. Yeah, it's all yours. Mm. That's it. Oh, very, yes. Very good. Easy. Just to balance my weight. Oh, yes. Very, very nice. Very nice. Good. Have yourself a rest. Thank Looking you. excellent. Robert, I can't move. I've gone into spasm. Would you like me to get you some water? Um, do you to stretch? Is your face okay? Less strenuous activities now ensue as our actress recovers from her mishap at the gym. Time for a little viral marketing and Facebooking, perhaps? 
Well, I'm almost up to a thousand friends on Facebook. I have about 800 pending. And I will accept them, Robert. But, you know, I've realized how important Facebook is, not only as a social network, but also as a marketing tool. It, it keeps you out there. It keeps you relevant. Listen, Mom, you and I need to have a serious chat about this whole thing. Oh, darling, I'm fine. I, I knew this day was going to happen sooner or later. Uh, guys, can you give us a minute? It's kind of private. <clears throat> I know how hard this whole thing is for you. I mean, it's a huge adjustment. What do you mean? <laughs> Mom, you can't bullshit me. I mean, we've known each other for 27 years. Yeah, it hasn't always been easy, has it? <sighs> Tell me what's the industry, Mom. Yeah, it works you to death, sucks your talent, chews you up and spits you out. That's always been my biggest concern for you. Mom, I, I don't need you holding my hand every step of the way. I mean, I, I need to get out there and crack it on my own. Yeah, well, you are your father's son. A gentle soul, but full of chutzpah. <laughs> so it's a deal then. No more interference. And no more advice. Understood. And please, no more bitchiness towards the girlfriend. Look, Rome wasn't built in a day. I'm joking. <laughs> Go on, Mom. Oh. Oh, well, at last the day has arrived. I'm off for my first rehearsal. They've messed me around quite a bit. They've been, no, not today, not tomorrow, not the next day. But now, after a week, I'm on my way there. Thank heavens. So, watch the space. It's time. I'm actually quite excited. I'm also a little bit nervous. I haven't been on stage for about two years. So it's going to be good, I'm sure. Leave everybody behind and let's go for it. Monte Casino, here I come. <laughs> Here we are at Peter Turing's Monte Cassino Theatre. Oh, it's my favourite theatre in the world. I've done so many fabulous shows here. Oh, look what's on. Cabaret. I should have been playing that role. She stole it from me. Bitch. Something the theatre community the world over prides itself on is camaraderie. Although sometimes, when two females of the species are put together in a room, it becomes a fight to the death. Hi! <laughs> of all the people, what are you doing here? Robert, this is Louise. We've known each other forever. <laughs> Don't you dare say how long. <laughs> so are you auditioning for something? Yes. Oh, yes, no, no, I'm here for the callback for a woman of a certain age. Callback? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, now I'm confused. <laughs> uh, guys, Louise, I think there's some sort of mistake. You see, this is a musical, <laughs> and I've already got the part. Darling, I know it's a musical. And I think that you're the one that's made the mistake. Oh, when did you start singing? <laughs> you have such a highly developed sense of rumour. Remember I was in the panto? <laughs> oh, of course, yes. Goodness, how could I possibly forget? <laughs> Louise, if you want to contribute something to South African theatre, why don't you, darling, become a member of the audience? Darling, just looking at you in the light. Hmm. Your hairdresser must hate you. <gasps> mm, I can tell you're lying, your lips are moving. Never enter a battle of wits unarmed, I always say. Abby! What? You have lost so much weight. Oh. Well done! <laughs> Pity it's all in your chest. Well, I can certainly see this one's gone south. Oh, gosh, my jeans are so loose because I've lost so much weight. I'm going to have to pull them up. Oh, don't pull them too high. You might get a camel toe. Have you checked yours lately? Bitch couldn't exude warmth if she was on fire. Hi, y'all. Can I speak to Mandy, please? It's Anne. Okay, I'll hold. Hi, Mandy. Yes. Mandy, I'm calling. Yes, that's why I'm calling. 
believe it. I'm standing here in a nice place here. I mean, it's a final callback. You told me I had a part. God, it's so embarrassing. I've got the whole crew here. The reality crew, yes. They're filming me. And now it's a final callback. And how, how much are they offering anyway? Two and a half a week. Gee. I don't even cover the bond. Mm. Look, it doesn't matter. If they like me, I'll take it. Okay. Yes, Mandy, I need to work. Fine, fine. Hi, guys. Well, uh, it turns out that it is actually a final callback. And, um... The other thing is, is that they, I don't think they're very crazy about cameras in the theatre. So, um, if you do come in with me, you must just keep a low profile, okay? Anyway, wish me luck. I'm gonna get it. Yes. I'm Ann Power, and I'm going to be singing If You Go Away. If you go away on this summer day, then you might as well take the sun away. All the birds that flew in the summer sky when our love was new. And our hearts were high When the day was young And the night was long And the moon stood still For the night bird's song If you go away If you go away If you go away but if you stay, I'll make you a day Like no day has been or will be again We'll sail on the sun, we'll ride on the rain We'll talk to the trees and worship the wind Dus van korte dier uit gebrande vier en ons liefde spel is voor goed voorbij slechts een skimmerspel en my hart wat leid as jy my verlaat as jy my verlaat But if you stay, I'll make you a night Like no night has been or will be again I'll sail on your smile, I'll ride on your touch I'll talk to your eyes that I love so much that 
Thank you. Thank you. We'll let you know, Joan. Uh, no, 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 it, it's not Joan, it's Anne. Thanks, we'll call you. I'm Anne. Christ, she's old, isn't she? Power. Yes, but the show's about women of a certain age. Yes, but can that certain age look more? A certain age, if you know what I mean. I mean, I'm auditioning Driving Miss Daisy here. I mean, I... There's nothing relevant there. Nothing contemporary. It's all been down to death. A hundred times. She's not even a has-been. She's a never was. Well, I thought that went quite well, I must say. I'm feeling quite good about it. And I think it's going to be exciting for me to do my own show again. It's my turn, let's face it. It's been quite a long haul. Um, oh, by the way, on the way to the, on the way home, I just want to pop into the spa. I just want to get some things. Oh, these roses are terrible. I just want to get a few bits and pieces. Rose did give me a list, but I've yet to do that, so we'll just wing it, as they say. That's fine. Robert, why are you still shooting? For goodness sake, man. I mean, <laughs> who wants to watch me shopping and driving to the spa? I mean, it's hardly interesting or fascinating. We'll edit it. Yeah, that's what you always say. But anyway, this is reality television. You told me that with reality television, you need to shoot exciting, fabulous stuff, not boring stuff like me shopping. I mean, it's not riveting. Come on, let's be real. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's quite funny. Yes, I am. Would you like me to uh, sign something? Okay, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. It's just that uh, I, I love your music and oh, you. And, and you. And uh, are you going to be releasing a, another album soon? Yes, actually, I am. I'm busy doing a show at Monte Casino, and we're going to do a tie-in deal. So I will be. Look out for it. <laughs> yes, man. Patricia Lewis, I can't believe my luck. <laughs> my opa loves you, eh? It's fabulous. Well, you have an excellent day, and thank you for recognizing me. <laughs> oh, well, uh, you've, uh, you've really made my day. Thanks. Oh, that's Thanks, so eh? sweet of you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thanks, uh, bye. bye. <laughs> oh. oh. 
shame. My fans are very passionate about me still. <laughs> Why did you sign with Patricia Lewis? Look, the old chap probably had old timers or something. I mean, he was very old. I mean, he still has a grandfather alive, for goodness sake. Shame, I must say. But, you know, we look very similar. I mean, she's only a couple of years younger than me. I'm very, very, very fond of her. I'm sure she signed Anne Power many times. <laughs> Are you sure you're not offline? Declined. I don't know why it's yes. declined. Um, you know, uh, no, ma'am, it's not offline. Oh, sorry, say how. Insufficient fund, ma'am. Insufficient fund? Yes, ma'am. Um, uh, oh, yeah, probably, it's probably this machine, you're right. Um, but I've got it. Anyway, let me just have a look. Maybe I should put something back. I don't know. Um, anyway. Robert, don't you have any, any, any could you lend me some money, please? Uh, sorry, it's a reality show. We're not allowed to get involved. Got it. Um, Morris, if, if I put this back, could I come, come and get it later? Would that be okay? Damn. But you know what? I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I, 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 I can't take it. I'm just... I'll, I'll make something else for dinner. Oh, please, sorry, mommy. show business, our little star. She was. I mean, she practically came out of my womb, tap dancing. You know? <laughs> in, 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 in a capizio <laughs> set of leotards and, and all kinds of little tap shoes and things. And sequins. I remember yeah. the nurses were so impressed with those little mm. twinkle toes yeah. were already going. Yes. Singing a high C. <laughs> Singing a high C, yeah. yes. It's got quite chilly today. Huh. We're at my parents' home and one thing they did teach me to do very well was how to drink alcohol. <laughs> my father is Steve, my mother is Eve, and they, I think there must be some kind of formaldehyde in alcohol because they are incredibly well preserved. Anyway, come and meet them, especially my mother. Hey, hey Mom! Darling. I didn't know you were bringing the whole crew with you. Oh, Mom, where I go, they go. I'm the star, you know. <laughs> of course you are, darling. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so nice to... See you again. Yes. How's my grandson? Oh, he's very well. But you know, Mummy's busy packing up and getting all his stuff. You know, he's he's moving out. You know, it's about time. He's 27. He's a big boy now. Oh, but you know how this industry is. I, I worry about him. I really do. Well, never mind. Let's see if we can. Well, what are you doing? Are you giving her bloody yeah, money yeah. again? No, 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 Mom, just need a little bit of extra pocket oh, I, money. I, I, I didn't come here to borrow money. Oh, I just gave a thousand dues. Oh, gee, Mom, I didn't. There you are. It's fine. Oh, yeah. This is Mom, so I, nice. I, I, I'd like to have a private conversation with my mother outside. If you don't mind, can you just leave us alone, boys? Thanks. It's in how did you guys get here? You know, we always find that if you can avoid the M1 with all those gantries and the cameras and things, then they catch you, you know, those, those, those cops that hide behind the, the, the bulkheads of the gantries. 
How did you find the traffic on the way here, by the way? I always see it immediately as soon as I, I approach the M1. And, we, and, and those gantries, they hide behind those big concrete things of the gantries, and they always catch you. Now, what we find is if you come down the old Pretoria Road, it's a lot better. Mm -hmm. Mom, you can't talk about these things on camera. I mean, it's embarrassing. I mean, you know, I was an A-lister, you know. Yes, 20 years ago, my darling. Oh, don't rub it in, Mom. Well, times change. How are you guys going to leave when you go? You, you must be very careful to avoid that, that road that leads to the lake. There's a huge pothole there, almost as big as the lake itself. And you have to be very careful because there's a car coming the other way. You have to stop and let them through. It's sort of one-way traffic there. And there's often a cop waiting behind the tree, a fat cop at that, you know. Yeah. Anyway, I don't really want the public to know that I'm borrowing money from my parents. Oh, everybody borrows money. It's times are tough these days, you know. I know. Oh, God, I just hope this thing works. Yes, yeah, so do I. With all this crew following you around wherever you go. Well, I'm thank sure you. it's going to work, my darling. Absolutely. You are such a little star. Thank you, Mum. So sad. What's so sad? Well, the fact that we've run out of red again, but that's the only thing I can think of at oh, the moment. Drunken old sod. That's all you could oh, think come of. On. Oh, goodness me. No, 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 no. We're talking about show business and what happens to women when they reach a certain age and then they suddenly, they, they were on stage, a sexy cabaret artist in their, in their stilettos and suddenly nobody wants them anymore. Well, she's still on stage and as long as you don't book in the first eight rows, everything's fine. Oh. You know, really, it's your own daughter you're talking about. <laughs> well, ah, she knows I love her. A little Botox. Mm. It's always good for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Show business has changed, oh, hasn't it, darling, the since our day? The world has changed. Since the our whole day. world. Nothing's the way it was when we started. <laughs> we used to travel around every little dorpy, every little town. Yeah. You used to set up all the sound and the lights. Yes. And, and then I taught little Annie Poms to do it. And she used to sit in the prompt corner and she used to work the lights. And then she used to work the sound. And then I realized she was a better singer than me. And I, I had to sit and work her sound. <laughs> Those were the days. Uh, I mean, we were lucky if we got a toilet. We were lucky if we have any more red. I'll tell you something, we've run out. Hi, I'm Anne Power, and this is my own personal video <coughs> diary. I'm really anxiously waiting for the producers to call me back. I haven't actually heard anything well, what yet. What are you doing? It's one in the morning. Oh, gee, will you turn this off button? Where is the off button? I can't see anything with this modern technology. Oh, gee. Look, Robert, you're going to have to just work around me. I'm sorry. You know, oof. Anyway, where was I? Now, as I was saying, I'm sitting up at one in the morning, pouring my heart out. And... Oh, shit, Oliver! Why can't you use your own loo? Back up, Mom. Remember, you said the green pond is crossing on the leg. Well, at least close the door. Okay. All right, Mom. Where was I? I think huge, a huge, huge part of why 9 out of 10 performers are performers is not just to become famous or rich, because that generally never happens, you know, unless you're incredibly, incredibly lucky. But um, it's because of that whole entire adrenaline high of auditioning for a part, and then two weeks later getting the call saying, you got the part. Have them, I'm ready. I must always make myself at home while you're getting all dressed up. Well, darling, I mean, I knew if the guests arrived early, you could always look after them. Sister, oh, looking as ravishing and beautiful as ever. Oh, yeah. Thanks very much. Lost some weight, ne? No, I run up and down. No. I do 50 yards. The remote control back. is my idea of exercise. <laughs> well, that's why your arms are so big. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's from see, another exercise. Uh, excuse me, this is a family show. Okay. Sweetheart, I wanted to tell you, you no, know, with regards to tonight, yeah. I don't have a very good PC party because a lot of my friends are overseas. Oh, I've la only got four of my guys coming tonight. Why to didn't you phone rent the crowd? Rent? They cover all the demographics. Sorry I touched your boob. Oh, God, he's terrible. <laughs> Vim, you are so wicked. Anyway, let me get you to So when are tonight. they coming? Uh, they're coming in about 20 minutes. What, okay. What Coca Cola's fine. Coke? Oh, gosh, yeah. She's really on the ball today. Yeah, I know. Coke is coming. I'll my aunt.
So? I, I, I so what? She's clearly keen. <laughs> Terence, I'm happy with Haley. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm sure you are, sweetheart. Really, I just... Um, and she is. She's a lovely girl. Mm. She's got that dancer's body and everything. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> you know, no one's ever died from tasting a bit of chocolate. <laughs> I mean, hey. It's what keeps the Germans flocking to Cape Town. What? Well, they come to spank the locals. <laughs> I mean, look how hungry she is. She's not my type. Oh, she's... Since when do you have a type? What are you on about? You're just too grateful when they say yes. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Seriously, dude, take a leaf from your mother's book. Be unapologetic. Lack of apology is an incredibly appealing trait. <laughs> to think I'm taking moral advice from you. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> uh, that's what Mark means. Hey, Gans. How you been? Hey, Ali. I'm good, and you? Good, good. No, great. Good. Just thought I'd, uh, you know, do the host thing and say hi. And... I was wondering when you make the first move. <laughs> well, um, well, here I am. Got something for you? For me? Oh, uh... Yeah. Okay. Uh, um... Wow. It's a mixed CD. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. Uh, dirty white boy, <laughs> right? The man machine, kiss the girl, pop that lock. Oh, yeah, great. Thank thank you. Yeah, it's, it's really special, Vance. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> Ali, you know we're made for each other. Don't you remember when we were like kids, we like hold hands and walk, take walks and yeah, go swimming and... No, man. Even when you were 16, I thought you were irresistible. <sighs> ooh, ooh. Um, cool, Cans. Well, you know, thanks for this. And uh, I'm going to go chat to Terrence, but uh, good to see you. Tell me what you think about it, because yeah. I, I really want you to listen to it. I will do so. Thanks. Because I've, I've got, like, okay. one of my favorite tracks. Yeah, like, nice. I, I want to kiss you all over. OK, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> tell Terrence. <laughs> <laughs> You're the fucking devil, you know that. Mm. So, with three biological females, uh, two heterosexual men, and a gaggle of fags, um, and your mom, what's wrong with Candy? Oh, no, nothing. She's fantastic, you know, Miss Norma Bates. You know, I can invite her around, she can murder my mom, murder me. Hang the dogs up to dry, eat them as biltong, it'll be fantastic. You should be a girl, you know that. Hmm? Such a romantic. <laughs> Seriously. Old school. <laughs> I mean, heartbreaker, dude. <laughs> well, right behind you, Mr. Arsebreaker. <laughs> right there. I help you, brother. Yeah. Zamba's fabulous. This is potatoes, you can have it. Yeah, Zamba's Zamba. It's pasta, you can have and it. And look at the Yama, is it fresh? It's nice. Uh, it's not, don't break the things, please. Huh? Don't break, don't break the plate. Okay, well, Just eat slowly. Where's Miss Anne? Hi, Lebohan. Hope you're enjoying the party. So I'm really excited about the fact that we're doing that whole time deal, you know, with the show, with the time album. It's going to be great. What album? You know, women of a certain age, you producing the album and... You're not exactly relevant anymore. What, you, what do you mean? You're like a dinosaur of apartheid. Lebukhan, I respectfully disagree with you. I mean, you know, I, I, I mean, this whole deal was you produced uh, the album uh, wait, for my... I'm confused. You think you got the part? Yes. They never phoned you, did they? No. Tough break. The part went to a younger actress. So we need to uh, funk up a little first? I just you are way over the hill. I thought it was for a woman over 50. That changed when the sponsors wanted the younger demographic. So sorry. 
Oh, they are looking for the part of the mother, though. If you're interested. Enjoy the party. myself together. Robert, please. This crew is driving me crazy. Vem! Sorry, Annie. What's wrong? Oh, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. It's not your fault. It's nothing you did. But why? Why? Remember, I am 63. And the other day I was told that I'm overqualified to write for a fucking soap opera. But you know what, Phil? I understand that. But what, what am I meant to do? It's I mean, because we are I... over 50. No, but there's nothing else youngsters can... have Youngsters have no respect for our craft and veterans and their experience. They are threatened by us. That's all. But what am I meant to do? I've got nothing else. I'm a show business. I'm an actress. I'm a singer. Well, darling, I, I here is your opportunity. Grab it with both hands. This show will take you places. Great things will come of this, I'm telling you. And when you have that show, maybe you can toss us a sort of a guest appearance or something. <laughs> Oh, I love you. <laughs> Please, don't be, don't be so hard. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Well, it's official. I did not get the part. Lebo told me tonight they went with a younger woman. How did it make you feel? <laughs> Elated. How do you think it made her feel, cock man? Well, my dear, let me tell you something. You're far too talented for treatment like this. But mark my words, when this show of yours, this one, hits the airwaves, it's going to be caviar and kisses and red carpets all the way. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm sorry. I don't care if some producer doesn't think I'm talented. I know I am. I'm going to do it myself. What do you mean? Well, I'm going to produce my own stage show to the power of Anne. Ooh, you're a Anne. Stage show's a risky business. No, well, you know what? I don't care. As far as I'm concerned, I'm tired of all the self-pity and self-loathing. It's time for The Power of Anne. As far as strengths go, I mean, God, you know, don't tell her this, but I mean, because she'd just go overboard with her brain, but she's completely limitless, in my opinion, of, uh, of what she can do. I mean, I don't think there's any limit to what she can do. 
She really is a complete and utter inspiration to me as a human being. I mean, she pushes through hell and back to get things done. She, nothing knocks her down, nothing breaks her. And even things that do break her, she eventually gets back up and glues herself back together and then smashes through again. You know, I mean, it's just, uh, if I could have half the resolve and determination and uh, strength that my mother has, God, I mean, I could conquer the world. I just wanted to stop by to say... He's got the part! Hee hee hee! What do you say, yeah, Robert? Yeah. Oh, fantastic, darling. Yeah. That is so lucky. I'm so excited. Yeah, we are going yeah, to so Singapore. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I get to have a three-week holiday in Singapore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. And me too. You, you coming as well? Of course I'm coming. Okay, you great. Invited me hey, everyone's going to be there. Yes, yes you're all going to be one a big happy family. Basically, you never left. I'm going to be so much fun. I know. Yeah, okay. We'll be able cool. to go shopping together and, and all the rest. Anyway, yeah. darling, just give me a hug. Come and oh. kiss me. Sorry, honey. Oh. Oh. No, he's my son. Oh, darling. Okay. It's so good to cool. know that. Jeez, you guys get too early. <laughs> Have you seen my mom? Uh, I think she's pretty putting her face on at the moment. We can't seem to catch her without her makeup on. Well, good luck with that, dude. Uh, mom? Oh, yes, love? Listen, I'm going now, okay? So I'll see you on the weekend, maybe. Okay, sweetheart. I just, I know you're only moving up the road, but don't be a stranger. <laughs> Remember, I'm a phone call away. Okay, mom. Look, I love you a lot, and I'll see you the weekend, okay? Uh, Catch you later. Okay, love. Uh, good luck with the show, mom. Some say love, it is a river that drowns the tender reed. Some say love, it is a razor that leaves your soul to bleed. Some say love, it is a hunger, an endless aching need. I say love, it is a flower, and you, it's a
spring becomes the rose. People are so morbid. I was just celebrating the release of To the Power of Ab. Woo, here we go. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sakes, Anne. So it seems there are demons at play in Anne's world. Demons of fortune, demons of lost fame, demons of competition, demons of age. But most importantly, there is still the symbol of hope that reigns supreme. And hope is the passion that keeps her alive. Annie, best of luck for everything you do. Oh, thank you, what sir. she's touching is turning to gold now. Oh, that's good. We like that. Thank you. There's always a power in Anne. There's more power than you could possibly need or ask for or wish for. Sometimes too much power. I wish you the most amazing luck for your show. Oh, thank you. It's going to be fantastic. And this is Frankie Valley. <laughs> I mean, Annie's one of those veterans in the industry that is here and will be here to stay. She keeps us going and vibrant and keeps us on our toes the whole time. So absolutely, I totally endorse what she's doing. Thank you. Thanks, Colette. I understand that Anne is hopefully going to be on TV. I look forward to seeing that. I think you make a fantastic TV show. I hope it's a reality TV show. It is. Okay, yeah. promise me now. You have to you pinky sweat. No, 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 no. That you'll go for Botox. Okay. Will you do that? Yes. Okay. Sold. Okay. And I wish you all the very best for your new show. Power to end, power to one. Oh, thank you, Brenda. <laughs> we'll watch it. You'll okay. watch it. We'll, 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 we'll watch it. It's a future tense. And look, oh, oh, and anything with Annie and I'll watch. In fact, there's some clips on the internet. If you go to Dup... Uh, no, 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 no. There's no, nothing... Just no, you and no. Me to watch. no, there are no clips on the internet. <laughs> Stop it now. I'm talking to my brother privately. This is my all-time favourite musical. Cabaret. <laughs> Can't wait. Now I need a drink. My daughter, you're looking wonderful. Thank you, Dad. Really Thank you, Dad. <laughs> you, you, you're a cabaret in your life. But they're not in the eight rows now. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking fabulous. And so are you. I know. Mm -hmm. Until it's all done. No, he doesn't want anyone to see it until it's all done. Oh, but that's very push kakanana. I know, but he is being a bit push kakanana at the moment. So don't say anything, because, you know, this is the mic. I know. The mic. They can hear everything <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Yeah, I didn't oh, know my, what it was. Oh, I know. I, I got a little excited. <laughs> I know, me too. I got quite excited. <laughs> <laughs>